All right, good afternoon, good afternoon everyone, what's up? It's your boy back at it again, Grand Diesel. I hope everyone is doing okay. I have a quick one for you guys, quick, 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 quick one for you today. Uh, let me go this way, let me go this way. <laughs> yep, I have a quick one for you guys today. I hope everyone is doing okay. As always, I am very well, I am blessed, I cannot complain. Man, it's a lot of stuff going on nowadays, so if you let yourself, yeah, you, you're going to be carrying a lot of weight on your shoulder. So basically, man, it's too hot here today. Woo. I told you guys, man. Somebody coming in one of my videos, he's like, why do you have shorts on, Grant? And then you have a jacket. <laughs> that, that's how I dress sometimes, you know. Sometimes in the winter time, I'll have a short on, but then I have a jacket. So that's what I normally dress, you know. But um, yeah, I guess they wanted to know why I was dressing like that. I thought uh, it was funny. Uh, it's not a proper gear by any means. Um, but yeah. I just want to do something real quick a word of advice to you guys out there my viewers my subscribers my buddies pretty much all of y'all man and what I want to talk about today it's very simple not everybody likes you guys not everybody likes you if you're going around thinking that everybody loves you, you got friends, you got a bunch of friends, you got this, you got that, I'm telling you today that nobody loves you, man. Nobody likes you. You got to be very, very careful who you vibe with. And I can speak for myself, guys. I'm a perfect example. Like, I used to have so many friends, I can't even count them. As of now, if you look in my inbox, I have over 1,300 contacts. I used to have so many friends. At some point, back home in Delaware, man, I was so popular. And I thought everybody loves me, man. Not until something happened in my life. And I'm like, where everybody at? And then you pick up a phone, you call this one. It's like, nope. You call that person, nope, I can't help you. You call that one, nope, nowhere to be found. So, take this from me, guys. All those around you that are cheering for you, they are around you because of something, man. Because of what they can get from you. Most of them are using you to get to where they need to be. Most of them are just, you know, angel of progress. They wanna see you fail every day. They wanna see you fall, man. old soul guy I'm an old soul and the reason why I say that is because I was raised by my grandparents shout out to my grandparent man I lost my grandpa about three years ago man, man he's so rest in peace love him man and my grandmother is still alive kicking and boy oh boy she used to um give so many advice but I saw three advices that she gave us or she gave me it was just me and my older brother and we were living with her on top of that we have our aunties and uncles and she used to give us advice especially what I remember three of them and at first I thought she didn't like us or she didn't like me at least I'm speaking for myself
whatever you want to go do and she would restrict you she was like don't do this don't do that and i'm like man this lady i didn't get it at that time man because i was so i was a kid man but now that i've gotten older man i'm like man 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 i do understand why she did what she did god bless her man she gave me uh so many advices but three of them I want to share with you guys today number one <laughs> I don't know if you guys are uh, religious or anything like that I'm a Christian man I'm a born and raised Christian so number one she said don't go to church or do not go to a church that you older than so for example let's say I'm 20 years old and somebody just you know open up a new church as long as i'm older than that church do not go to that church i say come on grandma <laughs> yep and if you do i will beat your butt and trust me as old as she is up to date she's kicking it to a pushing it to a hundred man I say you do it i will beat your butt <laughs> I know over here you can do that, <laughs> you know. <laughs> They're gonna call the, uh, the child protective service on you like that. Back home, shoot. <laughs> yep, she's like, don't go to church that you know you're older than. The day that you do that, I will beat your butt so bad that you will never ever forget about the day that you were born. So, nope. Methodist. Now we go to Baptist, and I, I know Baptist is older than I am, way older. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure Grandma, she, she don't even know I'm making this video. So I'm sure Grandma is gonna be okay with it. Yeah. Now we go to Baptist because it's very convenient for us. Um, yeah. She said, "Don't go to church that you know you're older than." Number two. She said, "Show me your friend, and I'll show you my character." Now, I'm the type of guy, I don't want to consider myself as an introvert, okay? I'm a very, very social person. I like people, I like friends, but I want to live a simple life. Why am I saying that? I'm a type of guy, I don't want to be known, I don't want to be seen, and there's a reason why I'm doing all this YouTube video thing which I'll explain later. If you follow me, you will get to know all of that. So, even though, let me tell you guys something before I, you know, I'm not gonna forget about this story. But even though I'm making these YouTube videos and all that, um, what I really do, my major, my profession, I'm a filmmaker, I'm an actor, a uh, director, you know, I make movies. So, I remember I was in class one day, went to a film school, and my professor came to me. It was around two, uh, 2012. I went to college, I forgot, but in 2012 I was still in school. And um, he came to me. He's like, yo. You, you, you need to make a, yourself a Facebook page and all that kind of stuff, man, because it's time, you know, one way or the other, you know, somebody's going to have to know you. So you, you, you need to start getting your stuff together. I'm like, well, how is it? Yeah. So even my, uh, my YouTube channel that I have, this one right here, and my uh, Facebook, he created my Facebook for me, and he told me, he started for me. And he said, I want you to finish it. And if you don't finish it, you're going to lose credit for this class. <laughs> he forced me, you know, and I, I have to get it. And it, it, it makes sense because the kind of profession that I'm getting myself into or the, the, the kind of profession that I, I'm in, I mean, you, you cannot hide yourself, you know. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. But I, I'm a type of person, you know, again, I'm not an introvert or anything like that. I love people, you know, um, but I just want to live a very simple life, 
you know, just an average person, 95, corporate America, go to work, come home, go to sleep. I don't want to be, you know, going out and uh, have a lot of people following me, taking photos and, you know, sometimes you're going to have to need a, a bodyguard and all that kind of stuff. Nah, nah, I don't, I don't want to live that kind of life, you know, so I'm a people's person. I love people, but that's just the way I am. So I, I believe my grandmother saw that. Every day I go out, I come back home with a new friend. And he was like, man, show me your friend and I'll show you my character. And I said, what do you mean, grandma? This is a good guy, man. He said, no, he's, they're not. They're not good people, man. Be careful. Be careful who you call your friend. Be careful who you share your secret with. Be careful who you you trust, you put your trust in. Even the good books say that uh, put your trust in Jesus, put your trust in God. Don't, don't trust in man because man will let you down. It doesn't matter if it's your mother, it doesn't matter if it's your father, because some parents don't want to see their kid go, you know, you know, move up. If you agree with that, you just smash the like button, man. Give me a thumbs up. Some parents don't want to see their kids moving up. Some parents wish the kid that they brought into this world, they wish they did. Trust me, I know exactly what I'm talking about. So be careful, it doesn't matter if it's your wife, your girlfriend, your fiance, your boyfriend, your husband, your brother, your sister. Now, I'm not saying everybody's like that, but majority of people, man, they, they wanna see you fall, man. They wanna see you fail. Why? I, I don't know and I don't get it. And I don't think I wanna know. See, men are wicked. Some men are so wicked that like, I, I, I learned the hard way, guys. I'm, I'm to a point where I'm a Christian, okay? I'm a Christian, but I'm, I'm, I'm to a point where if I'm messing with someone, if I'm talking with someone, and they just show up with me and they say, yeah, I'm a man of God, man. I ran so fast because I've been let down by so-called man of God, man. They use the name of God in vain. They rip people off. You know, they only like you when you have money. They only like you when you can um, pay your fights and all of that. But if you don't have it, when the money is gone, the resources are gone, you just nobody, man. And I'm a living witness. And it's sad, some, some women, especially some women, man, they, they put their trust in their pastors. They call them man of God and this. They respect their pastors more than they respect their own husbands. Man, be careful, man. Nobody likes you. Because they only like you because of what you can give them, because of what you can offer, because of what they can get out of you. Trust me. Whenever that thing is gone, you just nobody. You're going to be like a sandpaper, man. You know how sandpaper is? You want to smooth the surface of a, of a wood or a lumber? You use that to sand it. And right after that, guess what you do? You throw it away. Right after this, uh, the surface is smooth, you throw the damn sandpaper away. That's how some men are. So be careful, man. You know, the people that you share your secret with, the people that um, you share your future, it could be your husband, man. It could be your brother. It could be your, your sister. It could be your auntie. You know, again, not, not everybody's like that. But some people, like, let me tell you guys something, man. God brings specific people into our life for a specific reason. And whenever that mission is finished, God takes them away. So if you lose someone, man, let, let it go. 
let it go because God brought them into your life for a purpose. God let them into your life for a reason. So when the, the reason is over, let them go and move on. Man, I'm gonna tell you guys something, man. I would love to hang out with strangers than the people that I know all day. I, I swear to you, man. Let me say that again. And, and, and not I would. I love hanging out with strangers because they are genuine. Like they, they, they're so genuine. And, 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 and the people that you think you can confine in them, they are the ones that are gonna hurt you. They're gonna hurt you. They're gonna use your, your own words as, as a weapon and they're gonna use it against you. So my grandmother always said like, hey, you know what? Just show me your friend and I'll show you my character. Every day you go out there, you come back home, I got a new friend. Like, what, what, what's wrong with you, kid? Are you crazy? I said, man, grandma, you don't like me? He said, you stupid, man. What makes you think I don't like you? I want the best for you, son. You just gotta be careful. This world that you're looking at it like that, that ain't how it look like. So much evil, so much wicked people here. Like, they, they can hurt you, man. So many things that my grandmother, th uh, you know, taught me, when I was a kid, I, I didn't I didn't get what she was trying to say, man. I, all I know is like, man, this old lady, old head, she talked way too damn much, and she probably don't like me, man. But I was wrong. I was wrong, man. When I grew up, I say, every little single word that came out of this lady's mouth is true. And I thank God for her. So that's number two. Number three. She said, <laughs> if you're gonna make any friends, make sure anybody that you come home with or anybody that you introduce me with, they're older than you. I say, oh, come on now. So for example, now, if I'm, if I'm like, let's say I'm 20 now, I can't, I can't come back home with a friend who is 18 or 19 and a half. I, I can't do that. And up till now, she said, I will whoop your butt. I, I don't know, she can't see, she's blind. So she can't see, but I don't know how she gonna, she, she gonna know, but she gonna know. <laughs> so if I'm 20, I can't come home with a, 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 a 19 and a half years old. It's gotta be 24, 25. And I've kept that in, 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 I've kept that with me for all these years that all my friends, like my true friends that I have, all of them are older than I am. All of them. I remember one time, man, a long time ago, man, I had so many friends, like so many friends. My phone keep going off like every second, every minute. And I'm so given. People will come to me, yo, can I get this? Yeah, here, here you go. Can I borrow this? Here you go. Can I get that? Even my old job, my old, old, old job, man. I was, I was, um, when I was just a, a regular worker, just like everybody, man, I had so many friends. Listen to me very careful, guys. I know I'm talking to someone, man, but listen to me. When, when I was just a, a regular associate, man, everybody loves me. All my folks, the, the ones that I thought they were my friends, and you know, they all love me. Something happened. As soon as I became promoted, whoo, everything changed. I'm telling you guys, everything changed. The ones that I thought they were my friends, they stopped talking to me. They stopped like they behaved a certain way. And this is how it began. One of them thought uh, because we're friends, he can do whatever he want to do. I said, dude, the 
there are policies, man. You, you can't just do whatever you want to do. And, 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 and he's doing that because in his head, he's like, yeah, he's my friend, so he ain't gonna do nothing or he ain't gonna say nothing or he's not gonna reprimand me or anything like that. I'm telling you guys, the same people that chase you is the same people that are gonna holler at you when you're coming back down, man. So be careful. When I became promoted, I said, whoa, man, I gotta change my way. And at, at that time, God really opened my eyes and I'm like, wow, wow. I thought all these guys are my friends. No, they are not my friends. They're only my friends because of what they can get out of me. That's it. So, I kept that in mind, man. All friends that I have, my major, major friends, all of them, they, all of them are older than I am. All of them, I'm telling you, man. With exception of maybe, uh, let me say, Maybe, maybe two. I don't know the others one age very well, but yeah, all of them are older. So that's what my grandmother told me, man. It's like, if you're gonna make friends, and I said, why do you want me to, you know, make friends with older people? He said, because you're gonna learn from them. <laughs> but hear me out though, not everybody that is old has experience in life. You know, numbers don't mean nothing, you know, but to her, it meant something. You know, he said, make them as your friends because you're gonna learn a lot from them. I said, okay. So, guess what? I started it. And I saw the benefit in it. So everywhere I go, as a child, the way I speak, people will be like, what, what, how do you, why do you talk like that? Because I, I don't sound the same as they do. You know, my age group, I don't sound just like them. When I was in school, I was a chaplain. Like, you know, being a public speaker, I've been, I've done it all over. I, I can speak in front of thousands of people. Like, I've done it all over. And anytime I open my mouth and start talking, people that are right around the same age, or even younger than I am, and even sometimes older, they were like, whoa, where'd you learn all this from, you know? So my grandmother was right. So I just wanna, you know, talk to you this afternoon. Don't wanna take much of your time. Be careful who you call your friends. No, nobody likes you, man. They don't, they might act like they do, but wait, the day that you're gonna for yourself into trouble, the day that you're gonna find yourself into trouble, that is when you're gonna know if everybody likes you, or at least the ones that you claim that they're your friends, that's when you're gonna know if they are really your friends or not. It has happened to me, guys. Even in church, the house of God, be careful, because they clothe themselves in a sheep cloth, but right underneath, deep, 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 deep down, the wolves, man, the wolves, they, they, they wanna devour you. They wanna destroy you. They, they don't wanna see you going up. Huh? They don't wanna see you progressing, man. I learned the hard way, you know? Sometimes God will allow you to learn the hard way so that you can be a good testament to others telling you let me repeat that again sometimes God will allow you to learn the hard way which I have multiple times he will allow you to learn the hard way and then he's gonna pull you out and he's gonna make you a good testament for others you hear me so as I speak to you right now, man, oh man, my circle is tight. Like I said, I'd rather hang out with a bunch of strangers 
because I can trust them. I can. Well, maybe I'm going too much. But I, like, I, I, I'm telling you guys, I, I, I feel more comfortable around strangers than the people that I claim that I know. I'm telling you, because of what I've experienced. And it's sad, nine, nine out of 10, most people will not get both sides of the stories. And by the time you realize, your, your image is tarnished. You know, you'll be walking, just chilling, thinking like your, 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 your dude, your boy likes you, but he, he, he had so much envy for you because, because of what he heard about you. You know, because of what somebody told them about you, they did not take their time to ask you, have the balls to ask you, and they just go ahead and harbor some stuff inside your heart. So, as you're going back and forth with your so-called buddy, they're smiling, they're eating with you, they are, they're hanging out, they're drinking, but deep, 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 deep down, man, they want to hurt you. They want to kill you. They, they want to see you fall, man. So, I, I learned the hard way, guys. And like I said, unless God want, want to expose you to that extent, just, just take this piece of advice from me. You know what I mean? Because... If, 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 if it wouldn't have happened to me, there's no way I'm gonna come out here this afternoon and tell you, give you this piece of advice or inspiration or whatever you wanna call it. It happened to me, you know? So I learned back home, we have something called experience is the best teacher. I have experienced it. So now I'm the best teacher. So I'm teaching you to stay away from people. Don't confine in them. Huh? Like, if you haven't gotten drunk before, how, how are you gonna go tell someone, a drunkard, that hey, stop drinking? Or if you haven't smoked pot or weed or whatever before, how, how are you gonna go and tell them, yo, you need to stop smoking, man, it's bad for you. You've, you've got to experience it. So I'm here to tell you guys, I've learned the hard way. I've learned the hard way, and please, all those people that you're rolling with in the club, you know, in a little mini group, they're not your friends, they don't like you. Wait till the day that you, you know, you call up, like it happened to me, and I started picking up my phone. Every person that I know I called, and no one was available at that time to rescue me. So at that point, I closed my circle, man. Closed my circle. So, I'm gonna leave you here. I'm gonna leave you here with this message, man. Just stay focused and don't put your trust in man. Put your trust in God. He is the only one, as far as I'm concerned, he's the only one who will never leave you or forsake you. Because your mother will leave you, your mother will forsake you, your father will do the same to you. Your brother, your sister, your husband, your wife, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your pastor, your elder, dude, they will leave you in a heartbeat. They will deny you the day that the money will start flowing. The day that, like, just trust me on this one. No one is your friend, man. I'm gonna leave this video here. This is your boy, Grandizo. I hope this will help you. Uh, just stay tuned for some more. And always know that God loves you. God bless you. Just go out there, express some love, put a smile on someone's face. Because at the end of the day, it's free to do that. Thank you and have a blessed one.